Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.37 O Arjuna, just as a blazing fire burns firewood to ashes, in the same way the fire of transcendental knowledge burns to ashes the reactions to all types of karma. Sar Ardhavarshini When jnana manifests in a pure mind, it burns up all reactions except parapta karma, or those that are manifesting in this present body. This is explained with an example in this verse, beginning with the word yatha. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashika Riti Transcendental knowledge destroys the reactions of all sorts of karma, such as obligatory duties, nitya karma, occasional duties, naimitika karma, fruitive action, kamya karma, sinful action, vikarma, and accumulated karma that has not yet fructified, aprarapta karma but it does not destroy the karma that is fructifying in this present body, prarapta karma. This has been verified in Vedanta Darshana. Tat adigama uttara purva gyayor ashlesha vinasho tat vyapadeshat. Brahma Sutra 4.1.13 this means that even a jnani has to face the results of his fructifying karma. According to Srila Rupa Goswami, however, a person who has taken shelter of the holy name, even if his chanting is just a semblance of the pure name, Nam Abbas, not only destroys the results of all his karma, such as the reactions that are accumulating, but have not yet borne fruit, aprarapta, and the sinful tendencies of the heart that have not yet been acted upon, kutta, but he also destroys his fructifying reactions, prarapta karma. What, then, is to be said, about the effects of chanting the pure holy name. Srila Rupa Goswami has written in Sri Nama Staka, verse 4, Yat Brahma Sakshat Kriti Nishtaya Pi Vinasham Ayati Vinana Bogaihi. O Nam Prabhu, your appearance on the tongue of your devotees burns up the results of their fructifying reactions, prarapta karma. This is otherwise unavoidable, even after Brahman has been realized by performing unbroken meditation. This is declared adamantly and repeatedly in the Vedas.